All right, I want to show you all this Orca Torch D530V. And hopefully if you're viewing this, you're interested in a dive light because that's absolutely what this thing is. You're not going to carry this in an everyday type capacity. You're going to carry a really tough light like this to go diving because that's pretty much what it's made for. And I'll show you this beam pattern and I think you'll better understand why it's great for diving. Let's go ahead and go into it. It's got a side button. It's got two levels. You're going to have high, you're going to have medium, and then off. It's really simple. Not a lot to figure out there. It's got a battery indicator light, so that way you can see how, how your level is, your battery level is. It's kind of hard to see out here in the daytime, but there's a <clears throat> little green light in there, and I have ran this battery down, so that way you could go ahead and see it turn to orange or I actually saw it turn orange once I ran it down lower. It took three hours on the medium power. I say medium because it's not really like a low. That's not low in my opinion. That's pretty, pretty bright. So on that lower level, I ran it down in two and a half hours, roughly. Two and a half to three hours. And it turned orange, but the light was still on, charged it back up. It's an 18650, so it's not going to, you know, last all night or anything like that. But it did last for what I was doing with it, and I'll explain that to you here in a minute. So here's the internals. You've got your double O-rings for protection going into water. You've got a charging port right on the side of the battery. The kit does come with two of these. So you have two 18650 batteries with it and thick walls, well made. I don't see this thing ever taking on any water or anything. And the charging port being on the cell itself reduces more places that water can come in. This is a, a band that can be pulled off and it comes with a replacement band, it comes with an extra one of these. That's just to give you some texture, some grip, you know. It's not necessarily gonna do a whole lot for, uh, for you other than just giving a little bit of texture so that way it's not slipping around. And then you've got a place to install your included lanyard. It comes with one, but the beam I'm gonna get it out at night and show it to you. There's not a hot spot. It looks like there is because it's reflecting on the table, but I'll get it out in the evening time and show it to you. The beam is just tons of flood. There's no hot spot or anything. It's very well evenly distributed and you have like this massive wall of light. So that's really nice if you're gonna be in the water, you don't have this, you know, like lightsaber light looking beam blinding you you would have just a wall of light and no beam blinding in the path of the water. So that's pretty cool, well thought out. And I do believe that's gonna be some type of glass. I can look back on the description. I'm sure it says on the description on the sales listing, but that's not plastic. So definitely seeing that this is gonna be durable enough to take in. And now let me see if I can get this <clears throat> Excuse me to zoom a little bit better And show you all the battery Well, if not if I remember I'll show you tonight But anyway, there's right inside there is your little window Green light to orange light to red light to let you know what you need to do with this thing when it's time to charge it or whatever so All right. Well, I guess that's pretty much everything to say right now about it. Let's get it out and show you what this thing looks like the light uh, I, obviously i won't be underwater but you can at least get an idea of what kind of light this thing puts out i know we're not underwater but i at least wanted to show you all the type of beam that this thing has look at that just massive amounts of flood and not really much of a hot spot that's on the highest setting, bringing it down 
to a lower setting now and you know it doesn't get hot it's warm and if you're using this thing in the water you're not even going to be experiencing an issue there at all but just wanted to show you all what I was talking about as far as the amount of th the amount of light that you're going to get out of this thing tons of light not creating any type of blinding beam which is I'm sure very helpful when you're underwater you don't want a beam of light blinding you you just have a wall of light being distributed out there it's even raining a little bit so that should give you somewhat of an idea of the type of beam that it should be throwing and there's not one it's just a wall of light all right cool thank you all for watching if you got any questions let me know